All right, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna make drums out of animal noises. First off, let's pull up some splice. So I'm gonna go over here into splice, and I am going to find some sounds. We could do that under cinematic effects, animals. All right, we need a kick, we need a snare, we need some hats, and maybe a crash. So let's find some animal noises. We're gonna pull up our Splice app and go to Recently Added. And let's go ahead and drag in these samples. Okay, so first off, let's start with the kick drum. We're gonna use the pig sound for a kick drum. Okay, so for a kick drum, what you want is you want an initial transient and then you want a some body and then you're gonna have a little bit, uh, you may have a little bit of a tail, but mostly it's the transient and so it's the, the initial snap and the thud. Transpose it down. Compress the shit out of it. Process that audio up. Drop an EQ on it. Cut the low end. Saturate it. Ableton has a great app called the Drum Bus. Let's drop the Drum Bus in there. Add some boom. And let's go ahead and process that. And now we have our kick. So let's go ahead and find a good sample that'll help us out with that snare sound. That um, chicken squawk might be useful or the, maybe this goat grunt. I could see these uh, little short transients. So that might be nice for, for, a, for a hat. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and try to find one of these to make it to a good snare. I'm actually probably going to use this pig sound for a snare as well. So let's just snag this little portion right here. Let's go ahead and create another audio track. In this audio track, let's name it snare. Now for a snare, as with any drums, it really depends on kind of the song you're making. Uh, for this, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make like a short trap snare with this pig noise. So uh, I just really want a tight, I want a crisp, I want it sexy. All right, let's throw some EQ on it. Chop out the lows. Bump the highs. Compress the shit out of it again. Add some saturator to that. Bump up the audio. Now for a snare, um, even though it's a tra even though it's a trap snare, you want that um, you want that initial uh, snap, and then you want a little bit. Of, there's going to be a little bit of a body and a little bit of a tail. So let's go ahead and try and uh, make the sound. We may have to do some layering.
Okay, <clears throat> so for this sound, what, what I'm, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the sound really, loud, really long. Um, with a lot of tail, and then we're gonna tighten that tail in, which will give us that nice, that nice uh, snare snap. So, let's hear where we're at right now so far. Let's remove this inversion. Let's bring back some of the body. And let's go ahead and add a reverb onto it. I want that high end tail, so I'm not going to cut the reverb. Let's process this audio. Put an OTT on it. Put another reverb on that. Saturate it some more to give it some more uh, body. Maybe add some tube. Add a little bit of overdrive to give it some more uh, grit. Hey, try out a little bit of uh, chorus. And let's go ahead and freeze and flatten that. We'll go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and see how things sound together. Yeah, it's starting to sound like a drum kit. All right, let's turn these off. And let's go ahead and make some uh, hi-hats. I think that these goat uh, sounds would work for that. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Toss it over here. And for a hi-hat, it's kind of similar to a snare, but it's going to be a little bit higher and uh, a little more noisy. So we want to go ahead and make a really uh, short sample and then uh, go ahead and add some noise to it. We pitch it up... Uh, 12 semitones. And let's process it. Let's start with an EQ. Drop that in there. Most of that audio is already pretty much cut out, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of finish it off. Overdrive it. Add some saturator. And some chorus. Maybe a little bit of noise. Let's add a little bit of reverb to that. Let's go ahead and pop that drum bus on here. Let's go ahead and put it into mono. Let's go ahead and make sure our kick drum is in mono as well, or at least part of it's in mono. We'll drop a utility on here. Let's base mono at 200.
And let's go ahead and try to make a crash sound. I think this chicken squawk will work. Let's pull that bad boy up here. So the trick for a crash is also gonna be similar to the hats, but at least we, we have more of a uh, tail. We're gonna process it up and make it crash. So we've basically eliminated that squawk part. I mean, this would honestly be a pretty cool hat. So let's do that, kind of that process again. Let's throw a chorus on here. Let's add a utility. Let's add Erosion. Compress it all together a little bit. Overdrive it. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that tone. Now I know if we take a reverb <clears throat> and we reduce the size, makes it really metallic-y. We've put, put a little bit of a fade in. Let's try to boost the highs a little bit to maybe bring out a little bit of a sizzle. Maybe add a little more chorus in there. Now, <clears throat> unlike the obviously kicks and snares, the re the crash it's just gonna have to be like a lower end kind of like ride crash. So let's go ahead, freeze that out, bounce, flatten. This can be longer. So now we have our sounds. And let's go ahead and make a little bit of a little drum kit. So there you have it, making drums in Ableton with animal noises. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, slam that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to keep updated whenever we release a new video. Leave a comment of what you want me to cover next. Make sure to follow me on Twitch at KevinSavageNYC to watch me make music, join the fun, ask some questions, maybe learn some things. Get the samples we made in the video, join my Discord server, the samples will be there. Also, make sure to join the mailing list to get my free Peekaboo Bass FX rack. It's tons of fun, and if you didn't catch the video where I walk through how it works, you can click on the link in the top corner here, or find the description and find it in the description below. Also in the description are all the links to all my social media. Add me, say what's up, 
Also, we just launched our Patreon page, and we are trying to reach a goal of 500 monthly patrons. When we reach it, we'll be doing a giveaway. So if you like what I do, consider becoming a patron. It's five bucks a month. You will get access to a private Discord server and exclusive sample packs as I release them. Hope you all are having a great day.